go! It's time for everyone's favorite game show, Derail! That's right, brought to you by Yankee Dabbler. Now, on this show, we have contestants that are going to be calling in, and they're going to be asked three questions that their spouses have delivered. Are you excited, Engineer Hall? I'm ready for this new show called Derail! Oh, it's going to be great. So, but before we get started with our first contestant, we're going to be taking a look at what prize he can win if he answers those three questions correctly. So, what are the prizes? All right, so coming all the way from Walters, we have here some bulkhead flat cars. Engineer Hall, what is the designation? Oh, these are the 53-foot GSC bulkhead flat cars! Oh, here you know what I like about these cars here is guess what, Engineer Hall? Talk to me. Metal frame. Yeah. Metal couplers. Yeah. Metal ladder. Yeah. Oh, and metal wheels. All right. Ooh, now, these are just really nice looking cars here. You don't need to weigh them down. Of course, you can always put some loads on them. So, I'm very excited about these cars and they roll great. I mean, everyone knows what a flat car is. But right. if you add some color, you add the bulkhead to it, you can put a nice load on it. I think you have a really neat looking car here. Now, the retail value of these cars here are $37.98, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $32.28. Now, it's a good deal to get on those cars. However, if our first contestant who is currently on hold right now, Mark, can answer these three questions correctly, he gets to take home these six cars here. So, Mark, are you there? Oh, thank you. It's uh, very nice to be here. All right, I'm very excited. Are you ready to play? I'm ready to go. All right, here are your questions. What was the big boy originally called? <laughs> of course, that is the Wasash. Very good. Question two. What two railroads merged to create the Penn Central? Uh, that would be the New York Central and the Pennsylvania Railroad. There you go. Two oh, for wow. two. two. Last for two. question. When is your wedding anniversary? What? When is your wedding anniversary? Even out of time. June 12th? Oh, according to your wife, it's actually today. Oh. Oh, sorry, Mark. Well, but you can get those cars. Just go to yankeedabbler.com and get them today. So I thought we could give away some trains here, but maybe we could give away uh, some trains for contestant number two. And you want to see our next prize, Engineer Hall? I'm super excited. Let's oh, show them. All right. So if this person gets these three questions correct, he gets to take home these Tank cars here. Check them out, Engineer Hall. Are you excited? Take out the prize. Ooh, so these are the UTC 33K LPG tank cars. Wow. Say that three times in a row. Now, these are really neat looking cars here. And I took out a couple. These are three packs here. I have here the Procore and I have the GATX. But if you're looking to create a nice long unit train, I have a couple other ones in stock. As you can see, I have various different three packs there. I like the safety striping on there. I like all the detail here. These, of course, the Athern Genesis. So these are a little bit higher level than, say, just the regular Athern cars here. But these are really nice looking cars here. And if you want to create a nice long tank car train, like maybe the ones you see, it's up to you. All right. Now, so these cars retail for $169.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $135.99. Good deal to get on three high-quality cars. Of course, if our next contestant, Greg, can answer his three questions correctly, he gets to take them home. So, Greg, are you there? Okay, I'm ready to get going here. All right, here are your questions. Number one, what is the wheel arrangement of a Pacific Steam locomotive? Of course, that would be a 462. Very That's good. Yep, that's right. All right, so which railroad just merged with Kansas City Southern? Oh, well, that would be the uh, Canadian Pacific. Good job. All right, final question. When is your daughter's birthday? My, my daughter? Yeah, when's her? Uh, yeah. Uh, Yes, it is, because it, it was actually August 9th, so sorry, Greg. So no prize for you. Oh, Greg. Yeah, I think these people should, lost out pretty re big. really should listen to their, their spouses. But you can get these cars in, so come in today and get them for your railroad. Well, we're over two for our game show, but don't worry. I feel like our next contestant might be really uh, ready to go for our next product here from Kado. We have some NCL SD70 ACEs for your consideration. So check these engines out. These are really cool. So these are two former, or I guess current Union Pacific engines here. This is the Powered by the People engine. And look at the detail on that one. Look at that paint job, Engineer Hall. Looks pretty nice. That is really cool. That's N-scale. Yeah, you notice that? You That's see. crazy.
Wow. And then, of course, this is the George W. Or, sorry, George Bush, rather, um, engine here. This is the 4141 that actually, I believe, is in the George Bush Presidential Library. And that engine has a really neat history behind it. I'm not going to bore you with it, but uh, it is a really neat looking engine. And actually, George Bush actually drove it for a couple of miles. So that's a pretty. No, no, no. He oh, ran I'm sorry. He, he ran, ran it. it. Yes. One day I'll get that figured out. So these are really two really neat uh, locomotives here in N scale. And the neat thing about them is they have sound. So you guys say to hear what they sound like, Engineer Hall? Let's start them up. All right. Which one do you want to run? Let's run uh, 41. 41. Oh, all right. Let's give number 41 his love. All right, let's hear what the bell sounds like. The horn. Let's start it up. Hi, Ball. So it's great sounding engine here. Very nice uh, paint jobs. They sell here at Yankee Dabber for three twenty nine ninety nine. It's a cool engine to get for your uh, N scale fleet. Both of those engines, I think you kind of need both of them there. They look really good, Engineer Hall. Don't you agree? Absolutely right. And the neat thing about it is, guess what? They already come pre-programmed to the number. So for example, this is the forty one forty one. So it's already been programmed to that. So it's easy to step. So there you go. That's nice and easy. Now. You could buy that engine, but if our next contestant, George, can oh, answer these George? three questions correctly, he gets to take home those engines. So let's see if George is there. George, are you there? All right, I'm ready to get going. I'm going to win this thing. All right. What was the name of the high-speed train that went from New York City to Chicago? Well, of course, everybody you knows that would be the Broadway Limited, that, obviously. That was correct. Now, similar question. What was the name of the train that went from Chicago to L.A.? <laughs> okay. One of my favorite trains. Very nicely wow, done. Okay. All right, the last one. Uh, what is your mother-in-law's name? Uh-oh. Uh, Battleaxe? Oh, Ooh. sorry. The correct answer was Martha. So, really? Yeah. He got so. some explaining to do. Who would have thought? Yeah, I know. So, apparently not George because he didn't win it. But you can if you go to yankeedabby.com and get that engine on your fleet today. Well, we're over for 3 in our game, Engineer Hall. Yeah, we are, but you know, the contestants, they started strong, but felt at the end. I know, so they really should listen to their spouse more, don't you think? I think so. I can help them win some trains, and here's our next prize that we got to take a look at here. These are some GP40s from Atlas. You excited? Choo-choo. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, Woo-woo. Sorry, woo-woo. These sorry. are diesels, Engineer Hall. I know, but now I'm, I'm yearning for some steam lately. So am I. Maybe next time. But anyway, yeah. we got some beep-beeps right here. So we got from N-Scale Land with these GP40s here. And I got one or two rodents for you to consider. First one there is the MKT. Then I have here the Penn Central. Ooh, I like the Santa Fe and the blue paint scheme there. And I love that Rio Grande Tiger striping. We have the CSX right there. I guess that's the maintenance one. And I have here the Susquehanna CSX. And we have here the Guilford. And then we have a couple of inches here that don't have dynamic braking. Did you notice that? Oh, yeah. yeah all yeah, the other yeah. ones did, but these don't. This is the Union Pacific, the CP Rail. And then finally, we have here the Honoring the First Responders. 
That is a really sharp looking diesel locomotive here. Now, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of different color schemes here. For example, I just love the look of the, some of these engines here. The GP40 is such a quintessential engine in the diesel world. How many do you have, Engineer Hall? I got like four of them. Four of them? I got two sets of power. All right. There are just really great looking engines here. And since Engineer Hall really loves that CSX, we're going to run that. Shh. Just don't tell Norfolk Southern, okay? I know I'm cheating on them. I know, right? So let's run that. App. Well, there is no Norfolk Southern here, so you're, you're good. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It feels so wrong, but it feels so right. Oh, boy. Okay, we're getting a little deep here. So let's take a look at that CSX and see what it sounds like. Just say listen to the bell. I like that bell. Horn. All right, fire up. Hey, look at that, the number board's laid up. That's hot. All board. That's a cool sound of diesel locomotive here, and it is for a good price too because it retails for $269.95, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $179.99. So, great deal to get on that engine. I really like a bunch of those different paint schemes. So, if you need a GP40 or 12, come into Yankee Dabbler and get those engines going today. Now, I have another contestant here. This is Charlie. Now, Charlie answers these three questions correctly, he can have these engines. Charlie, I, I'm Charlie, giving away Charlie, trades here. Charlie, Charlie, are you there? Charlie. Okay, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna win some trades here. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be really good. Okay, Charlie, what does EOT stand EOT, for? Uh, that means uh, uh, end of train device. Very good. Okay, what day was Conrail founded? Oh, that was uh, uh, April first. You know, April Fool's Day. Very That's good. Very good. Was. Finally, how many times has your wife asked you to take out the trash this morning? Uh, uh, um, wow. I want to say, I don't oh, think she's asked me. I told you for 14 times this morning Hang to up. take Hang the up. trash out. Hang up. Hang up. If I say 14, is that too late now? Hang up. Ah! Okay. Well, um, that was scary. But you can have those engines. Just take out the trash. Poor Charlie. Damn, Charlie. We're 0 for 4 in this game, Engineer Hall. Huh? You got to do better. You got to listen to your spouse. Yes, take out the trash in the morning times. You got to listen to the kids. It could get you a train if you listen. Yes. Well, here is the grand prize, Engineer Hall. Huh? Talk All to me. All the way from Rapido. These are U25Bs. In the HO world here, I like these engines, and I think you will too. Check them out here. I have two really cool looking paint schemes here. The first one is the Santa Fe, 
And then the second one here is the Erie Lackawanna. Now, if you take a look at all the detailing that's happening on these engines here, they just look great. And I love the road specific detailing. For example, on the Erie Lackawanna, you see the horn is kind of back here a little bit, off to the side. Santa Fe, it's in the middle. I just love the fact that we do uh, a specific um, detailing for what railroad they were. That die cast metal coupler is happening here. There's a lot happening here. And of course, we know one of the best parts about these Rapido engines is the sounds. I'm excited to hear what goofy sounds they put into it. So without further hesitation, let's run that Santa Fe and see what it sounds like. So as we know, Rapido likes to put some hidden little Easter eggs in their sounds here. Let's check them out. All right, so if you're a fan of Family Guys Star Wars, there you go. Okay, I, I know they're not. I'm having trouble with the radar, sir. What's wrong with it? I've lost the bleep, I've lost the sweep, and I've lost the creep. The what? The what? And the what? No, the bleep. Okay, so if you're a fan of space balls, we got you covered there. What else we got? I have no idea what that is. Let's get one more. Sounds like we got a submarine engine here, Engineer Hall. So, Engineer Hall, can yes. you just imagine having this on a club layout and your engine sound like a submarine going around? I know the old folks be upset. They would love it. I would. All right, let's get the actual train sounds happening. I right, hear is the bell. The horn. Cool horn. All right, let's get fired up. Fire up. Now, Engineer Hall, I don't know if you can get it as it's coming in. Look, truck light. I see it.
That is a cool sound of diesel locomotive. It has a lot of really neat Easter eggs in there. I really enjoy that. I was messing with the Doppler effect a little bit there. So the retail value of this engine is $349.95, but we're selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $299.99. I got two really cool looking paint schemes here. I think you need one or both of them on your rails today. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get it while we still have it. So we have our final contestant calling in here. He has to get these three questions correctly. This is Chris. Uh, I, I hope Chris is going to be able to do this. Yes, I answered these three questions right, and hopefully he wins the grand prize here. All right, Chris, are you there? Hi, DJ. Hi, DJ. Wait, is this Christian? Yeah. yeah. Christian that works at the train store? Yeah. Are you calling me now? Yeah. Get over here. What are you Hi, doing? DJ. I'm winning the contest. I see you at the answer Thanks, my DJ. three. That was three. I can count that high. He did count to Bye, three. DJ. Is this Chris? Does he work at the train store? And are you? <sighs> All right. Oh, my one. Well, that was our game show here. If you want to participate in our game show, you just have to somehow find out our phone number. All right. If you uh, have not subscribed to uh, the Engineer Hall channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. And, of course, make sure you check out everything that we have here at YankeeDowler.com, like all the things that we looked at in today's show. For example, we had here these Atlas GP40s in N-Scale. We had these Trinity tank cars here. We had these U25Bs, and of course I had these Walters flat cars. But as I said before, there's something you were looking for that we did not talk about. Oh, of course, and the Kado SC70 ACEs. I'm still flustered with Christian destroying my contest well, there. Well you, well, you did ask him three questions. I did. Anyway. So, as I said, if there's something you're looking for, go on yankeedabla.com, type in the search bar what you're looking for, and hopefully we get sent to you so you have hours upon hours of railroading fun. Now we're going to conclude our episode with a rail fan video. Let's go to that Strasburg Railroad and take a look at that Norfolk and Western engine number 475 going through the Lancaster countryside. Now, if you excuse me, i got to go ahead and my engine back from Christian because I'm not happy on how the way this contest ended. That's why I engine. Give it back. Give it back. No, I want a transfer. Give me the engine. Give me the engine. Fine!